Hi everybody, and welcome to another Let's Play of Borderlands Tales. This is the next episode. I am your host. Why? Why? Why am I talking like this? Like I'm Aaron, like doing a live stream, even though I'm not. Anyway, uh, before we get into it, if you haven't already, go and check out my channel. Go and hit that red bow. No, 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 right button. Let's get into today's episode. Alexa, turn lights on, yo. Here we go. What? Alexa, turn lights on. Okay. Thank you. Why is it so fucking cold, yo? It's like, I don't know. Alexa, how cold is it today, Amrit? Today, in Western United Kingdom, you can expect a low of minus 4 degrees Celsius. Minus 4? It's so fucking freezing! It's like, I don't know, it's like, I don't know, it's so fucking cold. It's like minus 4 degrees outside, guys. Minus 4. That's so cold. I wish I, I wish it's summertime now. I wish it would start warming up. Ugh. Anyway, uh, let's continue um, with episode three. Catch your rock. All right, here we go. Back so soon? What's the rush? Okay, okay, sit down, shut up, and pay attention. The misfit vault hunters had discovered the secret location of the Gortis project, but getting there wouldn't be easy. Hyperion had not forgotten about their renegade employees. The native Pandoran wildlife was uh, just getting to know them. They escaped with their lives, but not much else. Out in the wasteland. The former middle manager discovered handsome Jack riding shotgun in his brain while having a shotgun pointed at his head. A precarious position, to be sure, but nothing compared to the con artist. The price on her head had attracted all kinds of thugs of gunmen. Even a legendary vault hunter had joined the pursuit. You'd think that would have been the end of her story. But it turns out that even legends struggle with the demands of a personal life. Back on the trail of the Gortis project, they found a wondrous hidden city, risen from the corpse of a ghost town. But unfortunately, their moment of awe and victory was to be the advantage of their opponents. <laughs> Taken hostage and forced to surrender the keys to the kingdom, they had to go all in on one last gamble. This chapter of the story begins with the questionable choice to trust the Bandoran Hunter. Trusted her. 
I mean, what can I say? She never gave me a reason not to. Thanks. Hmm. That's interesting. They were a team. An easy call. I mean, when, when it gets tough, you stick with your team in a situation like that. It was the only choice. Obviously, it wasn't. Look, someone had to take the initiative. It wasn't like there were a lot of options. <laughs> I don't suppose there's a spare for the spare. Well, if there is, I'm not. Changing it this time. We're close. We can walk it from here. Where the hell is here? Yeah. And why is it where we are? I'll tell you when I find what we're looking for. So, what happened next? <laughs> well, things started out fine. So this was your plan? Just give me a light so I can see what I'm doing. Fine, here. What's up? Well, where are we? Where are we even going? Because we're not helping them right now. No idea. Oh, good. We have to get back there. Vaughn and Sasha. No. Um, Fiona? Yeah. I hurt you. So, if you come out quick, then... Andy! Ah! <sighs> yeah, I did that once. You want to get in there real good tight. <clears throat> yeah, heard that didn't go so great. What? You sure? Uh, hey, over there is something.
Now. time so that the tourists shoot each other and blow up. We don't have much time. Who knows how long Vasquez will keep Sasha and Vaughn around. We need to get Gordas and get upstairs. Good idea. Not bad, Reese. Well, I have my moments. One, so far. I had more. You just weren't around. On it. I died again. Oh, shit. Are you okay? Yeah. We can get up to the lobby from back here. No, we need Gordas first. You didn't get it? Focus, Reese. We need Gordas back or this whole thing's shot. But how? Got it all planned out. You throw your hat at exactly the right time so that the tourists shoot each other and blow up. We don't have much time. Good idea. Yeah, Grace. Well, I have my moments. One, so far. I had more. You just weren't around. Come on, buddy, talk to me! Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, Motorbot, 
Would you mind? He can't move. He can't move. <laughs> He had a little accident. He just had a little accident with a zappy robot. Might have been my fault. Okay, well, hopefully we can stop getting him out of here. Oh, 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 oh,
things got a little messed up, but- Shut up! I'll deal with you later. I just want to say I had nothing to do with this! Uh, who's to blame here, Fiona? I want a name. Calm down! No, I just- Vasquez, he's the one to blame here. Did she say me? Really? And none of this would have happened if he hadn't screwed up the deal. Oh, she's lying! She is lying, Valerie! Please, you have got to believe me. It's not my fault! Look, I know you're super pissed, but we've got the Gordy's thing, and it is going to get us a vault that is worth way more than 10 million bucks, just like we told you. Everything is fine! We're fine! So this is what all the fuss is about. Yeah. Yeah. That's our little money maker. Huh? Then I guess I don't need you anymore. What? No! 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 Hello? Playing on my Xbox. Oh, but you don't get bored of playing on your bloody Xbox, right? Yeah. Do you get bored of it? No. Yeah. Well, better than me. You had your match, right? No, not yet. Heads up. Oh, I had tea time. I thought it was a flashbang. Okay. Uh, it is. That's not how it works. And that's not how it went. She put that gun on your face and you would all... Did you have your morning ones first? Yeah, mornings, tea times. Mind you want to take your, your nighttime ones while you're on the phone with me then? Yeah. Cool. Fine. Fine. But where was I? <laughs> you were in the middle of this. <laughs> I was getting Gorda's back. This is easily the most annoying contract I've ever taken. Oh, at least if it was an assassination, I'd have the pleasure of a kill at the end of it. Oh, well, I'm so sorry for the inconvenience. Who even hired you? A man named Felix. I normally don't divulge that kind of information, but... Felix told you about... He wanted you to know. Why did Felix hire you? Hide... What? Did he hire you for, exactly? Felix wanted me to pass along some knowledge, to mentor you, to help you survive. He felt you two had some untapped potential. You couldn't have told us this earlier? It's not exactly something you screamed out about Valerie's gooch running around. My work requires some discretion. 
Oh, discretion. When you say that, are you referring to the part where you were chasing us through Hollow Point, trying to behead us with your shield? Thanks for If I wanted to behead you, it would have happened. Whoa, don't be mad we got away. Thanks for stepping in with Valerie. Sure, don't mention it. Ugh, look, I know you two have been through a lot, but I assure you I'm here to help. And I don't anticipate that'll be very long, because when I feel the contract is filled, I'll be out of your lives. So let's just get through this. Well, welcome aboard, I guess. Thank you. So, uh, what's up with your friend? He's he got hit with some sort of paralyzing shot. I mean, he's stiff as a board, but he's, he's fine otherwise. Yeah, that was probably a poor choice. Oh, yeah. I think I got something. What you got? I don't know, but I, I found out there's an on button somewhere. You've been looking at that thing for like 20 minutes. Well, it's apparently very small. Initiating go to startup sequence. Energy chassis required for fault of the traveler protocol. Loading coordinates for energy chassis. Cortis activated. Hi, wow, hey! Really great to meet you all. I think I was expecting something different. Is this it? Yes, it is. You're asking because it's just too awesome, right? Too awesome to believe! Something like that. Your friend is crying. Is he crying because he's sad or because he's happy? <sighs> I think he's crying because he can't blink. Oh! We should probably get him some eye drops or Oh, cool! You got another robot! It's very nice to meet you. How is your day going? It's a mixed bag. Who exactly are you? Cordis, hi. Hi! Why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? Okay, where to start? Now, I don't know every detail, but I was created by Atlas as a last-ditch effort to get to the riches of the vault, to get a leg up on those Hyperion guys. Well, we are still number one. Atlas had facilities all over Pandora, working on the pieces of me to get it done faster. But then, that lady made it a little more difficult to assemble by killing every Atlas employee. Well, how many more pieces are there? No idea. But the next piece we need is... Uh... Oh! Oh! Okay, let's do this. Great! Oh, it's a great idea. Everybody up and out! Come on, slowpoke! Time's all wasted! Uh, Gordis? Hmm? He is, um... Dead. Oh, he's... He's dead, Gordis. Oh, that's bad. No, no, he, he was a he was a bad person, like really, really bad. Oh, well, good riddance then. Hey, is there a radio in this thing? All right. Oh, oh. And it. If you guys have enjoyed this episode, please like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I will see you guys on the next one. Bye bye.